Okay, Serang uh, Cosma. So for today tutorial, uh, I'm going to continue with the yesterday exercise, uh, which is we have to create the edit and delete buttons, right? So in order for you to do that, I need you to open to run your Zen first, right? Make sure your Apache and MySQL is uh, start start the service, and then previously this is what we already done. So you already create a uh, um, uh, the simple uh, database, right? So so this is what we have done yesterday, right? Uh, so maybe for the class B, I haven't show you on how to add uh, the edit and delete button, if I'm not mistaken, right? So. Let me show you first on how to add these uh, two button, edit and uh, delete first, right? So you just go back to your file in Xam hdoc, right? And then for the all department, you need to edit it. So you can edit using the Notepad or Notepad plus plus. It's up to you. All right. Let me edit using Notepad Plus Plus. So, how to add these two buttons, right? So, this one. Uh, okay. Uh, just go to here. Right? So, just add GD Edit and Table Data for Delete. Okay, then try to save it. Uh, try to refresh. So you're going to have these two button. Now for today, I'm going to show you how to how to make this edit and delete button functions. Meaning that if I click this edit button, it will open on uh, the the record uh, for the first record which is I selected, which is a human resource, and then I can make some changes. So in here, uh, since the department ID and created date is a uh, it's automatically uh, recorded by the system, so you can you no need to edit these two fields. The things that you have to edit is on you can edit is the department names, right? So when you click the, the edit button, it will pop up a form that you can edit the department names. So uh, department again, department ID and created date. We no need to edit it because it's automatically given by the system. So in order for you to do that, I need you to get a new files, right? So uh as usual right you just put the doc type right this is our file this is a normal uh, html text uh maybe i can give you this is the edit uh, departments Right. Okay, and I have the body here. Close the body. And don't forget to close the statement. I think it's better for me to save this one first. So uh save it as an edit department. Make sure the extension is the PHP eh? edit department.php and then click the save buttons. Right, so what is the code for for you to to make the edit button functions, right? Right, we already have the db.com here. This is a database connection file here. Alright, so need you to create the PHP first. Right, PHP code here. Alright, so you have the first thing that you have to do is to include the connections. Alright, so need to include the connections. So the file is db.com. Uh, make sure you refer back to the your your file here. So make sure the name is same. Yeah, db.com. Okay. So that's why I put db.com here. Alright. Uh, so this is the using database connections, right? And then uh, I need to create one variables, right? Uh, since the in this one the department ID is a primary key. So how I'm I'm going to make sure that when I click the edit button it will it will pop up or it will edit 
the the what we call the record that is selected so this one you can make it a based on the department id all right so how to do that okay make, let's say i just create one uh variable here uh, let's say i just give it the as a department all right okay this is my variable name id for example so just follow the the put here so i'm going to get the information about the class id okay sorry the department id so this is the field name to make sure the field name here is same as a field name in your php my admin so how to do that you can always check back your your field name right so just go back to the here so all right okay so here department id right so make sure the name here okay the name of the column here department id is same to here all right so um uh, let me i can give some uh some remarks here so get id uh from query so you just query the templating slide query the records right all right uh and then um okay uh i can i need to create another another variable let's say this is called data this is to fetch the data right uh to fetch the data from the the database right so this is the code as equally the fetch data i think this one uh, yesterday we already do this one all right uh array all right and uh create another all right another records another uh variable here uh, so i can give you mark here this is to fetch fetch data data from the database right now um here is the code on how to uh, when the people click update button so what will happens right so this is the code when the people when you the user click the update button so you can do like this if uh, this set post uh, when you when you click the submit button meaning that you you submit or update button meaning that you you post the the information from the from the interface to the database so that's why you have to use post here right and then uh so what you're going to create uh edit is the department name uh only one only one field that you, you can edit so again make sure the name of the field here is same goes to here uh, department name all right okay the rest no need okay because we only want to edit our uh one fields only right uh, since department id and created that is automatically given to from the system okay and then uh, uh create one variable called edit Right, edit. Uh, what is edit? Okay, edit is a uh, my sequely theory. Right. Okay. So you have to use the connections. So how to get this one? Right. Where to get this con? Actually, you have to refer back to the uh db con uh db cons uh share. Yeah. Let me open dbcon here, right? Okay, this one, uh, sorry, yeah, this one, this variable. This is the connection of the database. So I'm going, I'm using it here. So, uh, so you're going to update, uh, what you're going to do, you're going to update the table of the department, right? Uh, then we set the set the department id 
no sorry department name because since we only uh, change the department name uh, right, okay uh, set the department name is equals to anything that you type here right so uh where is it uh, here uh wait now mm -hmm. yeah anything that you type here so you set the department id is equal to Uh, sorry uh, uh okay uh i think we i have to change a little bit of the coding all oh, right uh sorry sorry this is the wrong one okay let me try to update this one first okay this one should be update uh sorry uh, okay and then if it set post is update all right and then oh i forgot to create the variable for the department actually so let me try to create it first the uh, department name all right uh, this is the variable of department name is equal to uh post so i'm going to get myself post yeah post uh the name all right hmm, baru betul. so uh, when i edit right so i'm going to update the department table and then i need to set the uh, set the department name field to anything that i'm going to enter in the forms right so this is the data that that i get from the forms right so it's equals to uh, department oh sorry department name all right it should be like this okay it's only one uh, okay all right don't forget to put the uh, because i open with the double quotation mark here then i need to close with the double quotation marks all right Okay, so this is the condition, eh? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, make sure you put the curly bracket here. Kalau tak ada error nanti. Alright, so make sure you put the curly bracket here. Not here, sorry. Uh, it should be here. Okay. The curly bracket should be here. Alright, if and then you put the curly brackets, right? Alright, if I'm new. Okay. So, uh, the code should be like this. Uh, if edit, if the user edit the things, right? If user edits and then, sorry, curly brackets. Uh, my SQL D close, uh, try to close the the connection yeah, bila kita tekan edit kita close the connection the database connection right uh, I give remark here this is a close connections alright and close and then they will directly uh, you to view all the uh, all record page meaning that bila kita edit update bila dah update dia akan patah balik kembali kepada this page right the list will list all the, the records so how to direct the things you just put like this local sorry local post okay so the name of the file should be all department the page all uh, the part make sure the the spelling is correct eh? php all right so let me give some remark here so that we know that this function this code is fun the function of this code is to redirect to all record page all right and then else okay 
else meaning that if the user uh didn't uh, uh got error or something eh? so you can put echo uh, my error but and then close the in the brackets sorry uh, okay the else after this i forgot to open the curly brackets uh, it should be something like this eh? open and close and then close one more curly bracket since we already opened one curly bracket here this is the close one let me check first eh? this one is for this one and this one is for this one all right so now uh then you have to close the php then you're going to create the form for the user to update eh? to update the the what you call the records so let's say i just put like this uh, uh this is the title update departments uh, records all right uh, maybe i'm going to center this one all right uh, and then okay so we're going to use form so the method of the form is post eh? because we're going to post the data from the the form post to the the database so uh need to create a, a, a input eh? input meaning set the text box lah, eh? so that user can enter the, the data input types is equal to uh, i'm going to use text all right so, uh, input type text uh, and then maybe i can give a name name of the the text box let's say this is a department uh, name and then the value right it should be uh the data that you enter so we already create uh if i'm not mistaken yeah we already create this one yeah? this is the to fetch the data from the database so get the data from the database so uh, just put the value here is equals to uh, i'm going to create the php scripting here okay echo uh, data so form uh, which field uh, actually is from the department name uh, this is the field name eh? department name All right okay and then we need to uh, close the php okay then close like this something like this right okay uh for method is post input type text uh name is the department names uh value get from the value from the uh, php uh, oh sorry i forgot to put dollar sign sign here okay php echo data get the data from the the database and then this is the field name database right uh okay okay this is the correct one all right mm. okay uh, so okay kejap saya betul tanya yeah. yeah this should be the correct one and then i need to have the one button here uh, input types input type is a submit button right so you can use submit okay and then you can give the name of the button this is the update and the value value meaning that the text that, that appear in the buttons so maybe you can put here update records so this is the text that will be appear in the buttons yeah all right and you need to close the forms right so settle this one okay let me try to save 
Alright, let me try to save this one. Okay. Now, I need you to open back the... Uh, what we call... Uh, the... The all department... Uh, file that we have to edit it. Okay. Here, you need to put some coding. Eh, to what we call... When the people click the edit button, we will run this... Uh, code right so how to do that okay okay uh you try to do the edit first eh? okay so kat sini you just put add href hyperlink reference is equals to the file name is edit the apartment dot php right uh but make sure uh they will only uh what we call open the 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 form that that the department id select by the user if i select one you open record number one if i select three eh, if i click edit here meaning that you open the record number three only eh? so to do that what you have to do you have to do something like this um the part sorry the part id is equals to uh, wait, eh? let me check what's uh, department PHP. All right, oh, sorry, uh, don't close this one first. Uh, all right, uh, department ID is equals to okay, then I use the PHP PHP eco uh, data and then make sure you you type the department id this is the uh, the primary key yet yeah? all right uh, fill in here and then close the php okay let me check back effects the coding i think this is wrong need to code like this all right Right when I click here, okay, uh, click here. This this will be the links, right? Uh, let me check first whether this one is correct or not. Yeah, takut tersalah. Uh, okay, alright, or something like this lah. Yeah. Right when I click uh this button, this button edit are the link. Eh, yeah? the link to the edit department. It will run the department ID. Where the department ID is must be same to the data from the department ID. Uh, okay, let me try whether this one will or not. Right, uh, I've got the error. So let me save this one. And then this one also I need to save it. Alright. So let's try run my local host. Okay, so you can see there is a link already. Right? If I click edit number one. Oh, there is error in line number 12. So let me check first. Uh, edit department line number 12. Okay, well. There is some uh, uh, thing that I, I, I edit, right? Because there is a, what you call, there is a problem with the code. So, okay, again, eh, you have to check this. Um, so, check back at, at line right. So, department ID is a variable. Uh, to get back the, to get the department ID from the database, right? So, you have to create another variable called query here, QRY. This query is a connection to select all data from the departments where the department id make sure the department id is equal to department id that you select from the form all right and then to display the record to fetch the data you create another uh, what we call here is a variable called data so this is my sequently fetch array query okay so if if set post if you if uh, this is a condition when the when the user click the update the buttons Right, uh, kalau dia post maksudnya nak update lah eh. So, here. So, you have to create one variable called department name here. So, dia akan dapatkan data. Fill, uh, dia, actually this one I'm going to use in the form eh. So, maksudnya bila user masukkan data dekat department name, dia akan post data tu dekat department name field. This is the field dekat database. This is the field dekat form eh. So, I create another variable called edit here. So, I did apa dia is a connection to update department. We have to update department. 
then department table then set the department name to the new one eh? but there is a condition where the department id is must be the same id in the selection forms eh? so the department id make sure it's a same as the department id here maksudnya kalau saya click edit here so dia akan edit department id number one sahaja alright and then if edit if the user tekan edit then dia akan close the connection then akan go to the to the this file ataupun this form which is we will display all the records and exits right so this is the form eh okay let's try to use it, try to do, do this one okay let me try to uh, uh, to update the record number one just click edit here you will form this one eh? you open the, the record human resources and then i can make some changes here okay let's say i just put human uh, management Okay, contohlah human management departments, right? Okay, and then click the update record. So the record is only uh, is uh, already updated. So to customize the form, you can use uh, what we call uh, CSS file to customize this one. Eh? So similar goes to another one. If I click facility, it already open the facility. Say, let's say I just add department name here. So I just update the record. So the record is up to date. Okay, okay. Try to do this one first. So the edit, but uh, so the delete record. I'm going to show you in the next lesson. Okay, thank you guys for having my class today. Assalamualaikum.